Today, I'm going to show you how to be able to use Application Insights with Power Virtual Agents, which is a new recent feature added. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to start inside of the Azure portal, and we're going to create an Application Insights resource. So we'll go to Create a Resource. We'll look for, by searching, Application Insights. And once you find Application Insights, you can just click on Create Application Insights. And then we'll go in, and I'm going to create a resource group here. And I will just refer to it as a test account here. So we'll just call this um, Bot Test. And I need to give it an instance name. We'll call it the same thing. We'll just call it uh, Bot Test. And you only need to do this. You don't need to do anything else. So I'll just go ahead and review and create. And then I'll click Create. And at this point, you're going to go through the deployment process of creating your application insights instance. And I'll speed the video up here just so that you we can watch it provision out all of the components. Now that my resources are all provisioned, we'll click go to resource, and now we can see our application insights instance has been provisioned. Now let's move over to Power Virtual Agents and look at what we need to do there. So in Power Virtual Agents, I've created a empty test bot for, that I've called App Insights, as you can see here. And what I need to do is I need to go into the settings of this bot in order to be able to add application insights. So we'll expand settings and we'll go to bot details and then you'll go to the advanced tab. Here you'll see the application insights connection string that needs to be done. And if you need to get information, you can click on the find my connection string right here. Now I'll also go over and show you all the settings you can turn on and off. And as you can see, this will highlight the information on what each of these can do. And know that these are on by default and but we need to go get our connection string so now that we're back over inside of application insights you're looking to grab the connection string you can get the connection string by clicking right here and copying it you will then go back over to power virtual agents where we will actually paste in the connection string information. And with that, we just save our bot. And, with, and at this point, we have completed all the configuration to be able to actually start logging issues. So now what we're going to do is we're going to configure a test topic that will allow us to be able to test. Start by creating a new topic from blank. We'll go in and we'll add a phrase so that we can trigger it. In this case, we're going to make an error. So we'll add that. We'll go ahead and add the topic, and you'll need to call it uh, something. We'll call it make an error. And then it's important here to be able to save it. So what we're going to, because what we're looking to do here is to create a loop. So once you save this, this will make the topic actually exist. And at this point, after the save, I'll be able to create a loop which will generate an error um, by making the bot do uh, the same thing over 100 times to uh, in this loop. So the way to do that is we're just going to go to topic management, call another topic, and then we're going to basically call the same topic. And by doing this, and then hitting save, we have now successfully created a loop uh, or an error. So you shouldn't do this in PVA normally, but for demo purposes, uh, we're going to go ahead and do this. So the next thing is let's trigger it. So we'll come in here and type make an error. And with this, what's going to happen is it's going to go through 100 times, and then the runtime is going to kill the operation, and you'll get an error message in PVA. So now let's jump back over to Application Insights in Azure. Now that we're back inside of the Azure portal, inside of our Application Insights instance, 
what we're going to do is we're going to go click on events and know that it can take some time for events to get logged into application insights as you can see it's not instant here so what i'm going to do is i'm going to speed the video up and if you need to refresh it you can just click this refresh button here and that will allow you to be able to see this so what we're looking for is the event number to change so that we can see the events in my instance this took about a minute and 45 seconds for application insights to be able to get the events in and you'll see here that the number changes to 216 events so now we have successfully got our events in you can click on different aspects of this if you're familiar with application insights this isn't training for application insights um, but what you can see here is all the events coming in now I will go ahead and click on view more insights here to be able to allow you to see more detail and you can see in here you have all the different errors you can even see like 105 different topic starts and things of that nature so this concludes the part where you can see how to configure this now we're going to move on to the next step and the next step is going to be how to be able to log your own custom telemetry event so to log your own custom telemetry event we're going to switch back to pva and we're going to go and create a new topic so we'll move over to topics We'll create a new one from blank. And in this case, we're gonna call it log an event. We're also going to add a test phrase and the test phrase of course will be log an event. And we'll hit the plus mark here to add that. The next thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna go in and under advanced, you'll see log a custom telemetry event. So I'm going to click this. Now you'll see on the right hand side that you can give it a name. And in this case, I'll give it a name. Since this is a test, we'll just do a sample event. And then here in the properties, we can select from many different things. And I'm going to, for this case, I'm just going to go into the system topics and pass activity.txt. What that is, is basically the text you type to the bot, but you could come in and choose any custom thing or a formula or a system variable, uh, things of that nature. Now, just to make sure that everything is good, I'm also going to go ahead and send a message just to tell us that we successfully logged the event. So we'll do that. And now we'll save this. And once this is saved i'm going to go over to the test canvas i'm just going to refresh the test canvas here and then i'm going to log an event by just typing this in now with this you'll see it successfully came back and said the event is logged you can see the process went through on the right hand side and now we're going to move back over to the Azure portal. So as I said before, in the Azure portal, we're going to hit the refresh until we see the events um, go from 216 to a new uh, number of events logged. And so I will speed up the video to make sure that you guys can see this happen. Now that we see that we have the additional events at 225, we'll scroll down now and you'll see here that sample event did get logged. And as we are looking at it, you can see the information on this, as well as you can see the serialized data right here of log an event, which is the activity that are, or the data we passed in from the activity.txt. So I hope this was helpful. Uh, please like and subscribe to my videos. Feel free to um, go into the comments and provide any type of feedback again thanks for uh, coming and looking at this if you are interested in being able to get to a trial of pva you can find that at aka.ms try pva